Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. And in today's video, I've got six autographs through the mail, TTMs. Um, I went to a Wood Ducks game last night and I got some video footage that I'm going to show. And I'm also going to show you the in-person autographs that I got. First, we're going to start off with a TTM. And the first one is from Miami, Florida. And we've got Stan Banson. He signed one of one in 14 days. He had a career record of 146 and 149 with a 3.60 ERA. He played 16 years, appeared in 574 games. He played from 66 to 82. He played with the Yankees, White Sox, A's, Montreal Expos, uh, the Angels, and the Phillies. He was the American League Rookie of the Year in 1968 when he went 17-12 and 12 with a 2.05 ERA. 1972 was his best record, best year, when he went 21-16 and 16 in 41 starts. And then the following year, he made 42 starts, but he went 18-21. and 21. That is Stan Banson. Next, I'm going to show you some game footage. Second return is from Austin, Texas. And we've got Matt Hagen. He signed two of two in 60 days. Now he, I sent him these two, but it looks like he tried to sign that and some silver and you can barely see it. So I think he threw in that to make up for it. So I'm gonna count as a two for two because that silver one I don't think I'm going to count that one. Anyhow, he is the AAA manager for the Round Rock Express. That is the AAA affiliate of the Texas Rangers. And he is in his seventh year coaching in the Rangers minor league system. That is Matt Hagen. And now we're going to pause again and show you some more action. Turn is from Daniels, New Jersey, and we've got Michelle Betos. She signed one of two in 35 days. She is the goalkeeper for the New Jersey New York Gotham Football Club, and she went to college at the University of Georgia. Michelle Betos. Next, I'm going to show you the in-person um, in autographs that I got. We got Joel Hanrahan, who is the pitching coach for the Fredericksburg Nationals. He signed two of two. I got Sammy Infante. He signed two. We got Delwyn Young, the hitting coach. We have Mason Denenberg. We have Jack, uh, Jackson Rutledge, who is the number six prospect for the Washington Nationals. He signed five cards. We have Ian Moeller, Ian Moeller, Cam Cawley, and Cam Cawley. And then that was Jackson Rutledge did not sign that one. But he signed, I had six, he signed five. Or he's, I had five, he signed four. All right, our next return is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we've got Floyd Bannister. He signed three of three in 11 days. 
He had a career record of 134 and 143 with a 4.06 ERA. He played 15 years, appeared in 431 games. He played from 77 to 92. He played with Houston, Seattle, the White Sox, Royals, Angels, and Rangers. And he was an All-Star in 1982. That is Floyd Bannister. All right, and we're gonna pause again. And this video, this video is hilarious. I hope you like it. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Our next return is from Trenton, New Jersey. And we've got Rick Cerrone. He signed one of one in eight days. He had a career batting average of 245, 59 home runs, 436 RBIs. He played 18 years, appeared in 1,329 games. He played from 75 to 92. And he played with Cleveland, Toronto, the Yankees, Braves, Brewers, Red Sox, Mets, and Expos. His best year was in 1980 when he went when he hit 14 home runs, knocked in 85, and had a 277 batting average. And now we're going to show you the last bit of footage I took. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the um, in-game action. And here is our last return. It is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have Teddy Higuera. He signed one of one in 12 days. He had a career record of 94 and 64 with a 3.61 ERA. He played nine years, appeared in 213 games. He played from 85 to 94. He played his entire career with the Milwaukee Brewers. He was an all-star in 86 when he went 20 and 11 with a 2.79 ERA. He is in the Milwaukee Brewers Wall of Honor. He is in the Mexican Baseball Hall of Fame. And injuries completely derailed his career because after his first four years in the majors, he was 69 and 38 with a 3.25 ERA. So he had a very promising career going and then Injuries just took a toll on him, which was very unfortunate for him and Brewers fans. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.